Well, hello and good afternoon. I'm going to do a re aftermarket report on the EV car, car watch list that I did this morning. If you're able to watch it, good for you because there were some real good plays on it today. And I'm just going to go with maybe top of the few volume leaders and a few, few percentage leaders and maybe a loser or two and see if we can find anything. But right off the bat, again, Nile volume leader at 231 million. Let's go ahead and look up the charts. I love stocks. Um, what am I doing here? Let me do this. I'm going to go straight to the chart here. I'm going to move this over. Ah, we'll just leave it right here. We're going to do Nile first. I want to make sure them two are linked together. Did I have a nice little breakout again on it today? I'm going to pull up the daily. First, I'll look at the 20 day just to show you what we had. It did pop out of that, that flag that I talked about this morning. I talked about a pennant symmetrical flag said it could break out of that flag today we sure did we broke out of it it broke that resistance level right at open as you can see on the flag the body of that candle landed right on the triangle if you watched the video this morning you could see that smack down right on top of it and then we've had a good day up to resistance i did call resistance up here at 4880 that would have been the double top we really actually can call it almost a triple top, so maybe we can pull back a little bit on this stock right now. I'm thinking maybe down in, ooh, yeah, we're just going to bring this up to right about here, 46 bucks. If we can drop $2.50 to 46 I think we can go ahead and retrace back up and break this triple top resistance. That's Nile. Another one we're going to look at, that was one we mentioned this morning. We also mentioned Solo. Solo had a good breakout today. It definitely broke out of that ascending triangle that I talked about this morning. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to extend this all the way to the right. I did call an ascending triangle breakout. We're going to go to the right here. And if she does pull back, she could pull back to this first support right in here. Thinking right there or maybe a bottom play right down here at 819. For right now, she's looking good after hours. She did have a nice little breakout at, to close at 10.43, and now it's pulled back a little bit. So you got three supports with a strong buy down here at the ascending triangle at 6.90 if it does pull back. Then you got the third support, probably the uh, fourth support at 7.31 for a strong buy. Then you've got the other three supports. If 8.91 doesn't hold, we'll fall back into this channel right in here and hit this previous high we had five days ago. That's solo. Keep it on watch. Another one, Tesla. Tesla, my contract, I sold it today for $1,235 a piece. Swung it overnight. We created a little symmetrical flag right here. I like to draw these up. I always say chart patterns is the way to go. If you can recognize a chart pattern, you'll become a lot better trader. But this is a symmetrical flag. It could be a pennant flag, but I'm going to call it a for, well, yeah, it could be a pennant flag because it's kind of coming up like this. So we could have another breakout to higher levels. I'm glad it did consolidate today after the huge breakout we had yesterday. It did pull back to support that I called in the pre-market report, and then we bounced up off of it. It's always good to watch these reports before and after. That way you can kind of get a glimpse of what I've been doing. But I did sell this contract for $1,235 $1,235 today. I was very excited. Yesterday I made $30,000 on them. So not bad. <clears throat> Let's go ahead. Tesla. Let's look at it in a, in a, in a minute time frame. I'm still going to carry my low support down here at $473 for a strong buy. I think we can pull back to this area right here, right around the $491.16 area. But if we stay in this channel and break out, we're going to break out of another pennant flag. And I think the next target could be up right around. If we break this resistance here at 508, we could probably take it to 510 to 512. And then on up. I mean, I've got a long target on this at 550. It was 500 before Christmas. We hit it. Bingo. Bingo. I'm going to go ahead and put that 507.39 is what we got to break. That's Tesla. Bingo on that trade today. <clears throat> KNDI. Another good one that I like. Called it out. I said we we're going to have a breakout in it. We talked about it this morning pre-market. She did run up. She found support level right down here, right around 1409. I think it can pull back to that 1409. 
maybe 1374 or hit this triangle down here or sideway pattern horizontal top right around 1340 and hold so that's going to be KNDI with the resistance to break at 1488 beautiful trade today next one we're going to talk about these are all in the EV watch list you've got to have plug got to plug it in we definitely had a breakout on plug she pulled back to the pivot point area maybe a good support level right here right around the 2378 we do have a lower support down here at 2345 and maybe a possible strong buy right here at 2321 with the resistance to break at 24 bucks that's going to be plug another good one we picked on the watch list this morning and then we had NKLA I said we we're getting ready to break out she kind of did break out a little bit a little bit I mean this was before the opening market here but we did break out and she did have higher highs and then pulled back so I think we're just kind of kind of seeping a little bit getting up getting up but we did have a nice little breakout on it yesterday and I kind of like Tesla I think it just kind of consolidated lower support 2529 resistance to break is the 2720 area the next one we're going to talk about I talked about this one this morning she closed up about five bucks XPEV it's hot on my watch list we did hit a high of 4890 all my resistance levels were hit let's pull up the 20 day we had this 20 day top I charted this out in the morning we are going to come up and double top at 5127 but you see this area right in here that's where the support is 46.58 I like to see that hold we'll drop down to this other support level at 44.63 and regain resistance back at 46.75 or move on up and break the double top 51 actually 50.87 I adjust mine I don't go with the previous high I go with the base bodies of the candle people that know how I trade know that when I see a wick it is a gift and when I see the body it is solid so let's go ahead and look at a couple more see if I see anything in here blink I want to go ahead and pull up blink it's another good one that I called out we did have the breakout and we did break up to new highs we're going we're going to break 20 on this tomorrow and I think this thing can run up to about 30 bucks but you want to try to find a support level so I'm thinking right about 1754 for a low scenario and then maybe that first support at 1827 with a resistance to break around the $20 area that's going to be BLNK. So what else we got on the list here? FUV is another great one we had today. Run up 69% into close. We did have a high of 1625. It is one that I called out this morning pre-market. I said, get your booties on, man. I'm bullish. This is a symmetrical flag right here, a pennant flag. It was telling me that get bullish. Now I'm I'm you know I'm a technical trader. I trade on technical analysis, not fundamentals. Because I already know the fundamentals are lying in the tape and the way I watch the momentum of the stock. This is not something I just started watching yesterday. I've been watching FUV for more than a year. And that's the way a lot of these stocks on my watch list are. It's not, you know, I get used to them before I make the trades. Unless it's a pure robotic run and I'm taking a risk. But when I'm in a trade, I know what I'm in. I know where support is and I'm looking for the resistance. And before I'm in the trade, I know where I want to get out unless... Uh, things change but here we go and I'm always talking about flags and every lesson every every video I do is a lesson I just like to show people how, that flags look at that that I, I pull these out all the time all the time these are called pennant flags <coughs> excuse me Got to wet the old whistle. Nice little breakout. Here's another flag right here. See? You got your another flag right here. And they're just all over. I mean, then you got the three white soldiers. Three white soldiers. Two engulfing bull candles. I mean, this is just a beautiful trade. We got a resistance to break up here at 1602. Whoops. 
You know, I can look at a chart and tell you if I want to trade it within five seconds to ten seconds. Right now, I'm looking for support levels for this thing to pull back to. Now, see, I'm looking for an equilibrium in this flag. 12.51 for a low scenario, low support, or the horizontal line up here for a strong buy, and then any kind of knife from here on out. This is how I'm going to take this tomorrow. I want to pull up the daily one minute and see if I missed anything in here. See? Perfect. 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 Right in here is where I see something. So this is going to be my first support channel on FUV. Nope, 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 nope. Down here. Or where was that? Yeah, ready. Right in here. That's going to be the first support, second support, and then you got your third one right about here at $12.99. Right there. We'll make it at 13 even. I like that spot right there. Right there. So we've got first scenario channel of 1381 to 1408. I think it will pull back and then retrace back up and break resistance up here right around the $16 area. So we got that first support at 1381 to 1408. Then you got the 1345 and then maybe a strong buy in this ascending triangle. This is an ascending triangle too. It's also a pennant flag that turned into an ascending triangle. And I'm going to call that horizontal line right there at 13 bucks for a strong buy. That's FUV. Keep a good eye on it, man. That thing's been a monster. Monster, monster. And let's see what else we can do with this watch list. Workhorse I called out this morning. Broke flat. It probably did break out a little bit. Yep. Would have been taking your money. So I kind of put that lower on my watch list. Now let's see what happened with the percentage gainers. That XP, I like that a lot. So you need to keep that on your watch list. Yep, that's about it, I think. You notice the whole list was... Well, we had a few reds in here. We had a few reds. Ride. Ride's pulled back a little bit. Yeah. She pulled back pretty good right here. Could we start to retrace back up? This is a new one that I put out, added to my watch list. I kind of like it. I had a 300% gain on this. Now she's pulled back to the double top. So keep her right eye on watch. Well, I think that'll be it for the conclusion of the aftermarket RV watch list, EV watch list. Always remember, hit that little Twitter bird right there. Hit that like, follow button. You can see posts that we make in here on a daily basis. And this is uh, I Love Stocks. We also have on our website our little stock twits. You can, if you have a stock twits account, look up Washboard Gym and Vegas One, and you'll find us in here. And you can hit and follow us in here, and you'll get my update videos that I put in here. This is the one I did this morning, and it was a beautiful sight to watch. So make sure that you put on your ears, grab you some coffee, and kick back and eat some popcorn and enjoy the video. Just want to let you know I love stocks and I'll see you in the morning.